I asked Mr. Terry for a chance and told him what was it that needs to be adjusted. He looked at me, oh, what do you know? You know, we have hardly put our leg over this horse. Heavy metals coming on powerfully down the inside. Heavy metals won it. It's like a radio without a channel. This was when... Heavy metals, Mungo Kamala, once again, he's risen to the occasion. It was just like a dream. Hi, I'm Smangal Kumalo. I go by the name of Bling Bling. Whoop, whoop. I'm a professional jockey and I'm in my, oh, I'm in my 30s, mid 30s and now. I come from a, a, a big family and like all just had to try and survive, obviously. And the main thing that kept me going was school. There was a lot of uh, violence was happening in the 90s. It was quite bad and um, I just decided uh, I have to try and learn to get out of here. So I was never into school or, or uh, into about learning. I, I think I would have taken a different turn. It was a bit hard. I was the smallest guy there, high school year. Big, tall guys, but quite rough. Trying to, uh, you know, just to ruffle me a little bit since I'm a smallest guy. From there, you know, I'm sitting in class and I hear the teacher calling me to come to the office. So I'm thinking, principal's office? What have I done? There's a gentleman standing there and he looked at me, he nods his head. We're from the Jockey Academy. We've sent by the, the Academy to come look for talent, to look for short guys. Went for the interview, asked me a couple of questions, how I feel about horses. I said I've never been on one, never seen one, but I'm easy. I told them I had there's five dogs at home. You give them love, you give them respect, they give it back. I came to the academy, I was out of my comfort zone. I wasn't uh, in, in where I speak Zulu. There was a horse with the big white blaze. I was so terrified of him. Within the days is letting me do everything because they love to be pampered, they love to be brushed. From there, I just became this person who um, fell in love with the horse. There was an offer to go to Zimbabwe. I picked my hand up because I can't compete with 18 people. It made my life a lot better and my racing, my racing career a lot better. I was getting, here I was getting two rides, one rider meeting. There, I'm getting five rides, six rides a meeting. And sparkling water making history. Uh, sparkling water, jet dogs taking off, but sparkling water makes her statement. It's a manga Kamalo. We're just here at the academy. We can say uh, 10, 10, 15 years back, they gave us a little um, uh, booklet where you can write your goals. I wanted to be a champion jockey. I wanted to be well known. I also wanted to win a Vodacom Devon July. I don't have it now to tick off, but I'm sure I've ticked all of those boxes. I could never ask for any better. <laughs>